is the Netflix show Depp v. Heard a review of the trial or an attempt to rally sympathy for Amber Heard, streaming the Netflix docuseries Depp v. Heard in the hopes of seeing something new about the divorce between Hollywood star Johnny Depp and his ex-wife actress Amber Heard is pointless, at least for those who followed the highly publicized televised trial in 2022. For anyone who missed Depp and Heard's private lives unraveling in front of the world, this is a recap worth watching while bearing the docuseries maker's biases in mind. What the Depp v. Heard docuseries is about. The John C. Depp 2 v. Amber Laura Heard defamation trial held in Fairfax County, Virginia, was live-streamed for the world to view last year. Since the beginning of the trial in April 2022 to the final verdict in June 2022, the court battle trended on social media, with followers divided between the two camps. Over a year after the jury ruled in Depp's favor, Netflix aired the documentary series Depp v. Heard, created by Emma Cooper, with the intention of making viewers doubt the facts behind the trial. The three-part series weaves together significant events from the trial by selecting clips from over 200 hours of courtroom footage and offers insight on the social media and news media frenzy that surrounded the erstwhile celebrity couple. The series examines the impact of the verdict on victims of domestic violence and the Me Too movement, as well as how social media affects our lives. All of these problems, however, had been raised even before the trial began, questioning Depp's authenticity and highlighting Heard's plight. The series explores if Depp's account in court, which elicited a tremendous positive response from the public, was truthful enough. A known reveal that the show highlights is the testimony of the Pirates of the Caribbean star's assistant Stephen Duders. In court, Duders denied claims that Depp had kicked Heard on a private jet in 2014. However, when court documents of excluded evidence were unsealed, it showed texts between Duders and Heard that appeared to acknowledge the incident. Incident. On the other hand, Heard's testimonies had become popular meme fodder while the trial was on. Depp v. Heard tries to drum up sympathy for Heard by showing montage upon montage of the social media clips that poked fun at her breaking down in court and during post-trial interviews. The show highlights that the rum dairy actress's right to identify as a victim of abuse was questioned and she received backlash even from domestic violence victims who felt triggered by her testimonies. The docuseries tends to blame public opinion for Heard losing the lawsuit. Depp v. Heard implies that the social media content around the trial put Depp on a pedestal and only pushed to prove Depp was right as he was a bigger celebrity than Heard. The show creators haven't taken into account the lawyers and mental health professionals who posted unbiased analysis of the trial online. It also does not acknowledge that the shift in public support from Heard to Depp had a lot to do with Heard and her lawyers' activities in court.